And guess what, everybody? Hot off the press. What? She responded. Oh my God. Let's serve up some news. Sunny side up. First up, two of our favorite lovebirds. I mean, I know it's happening. It's everywhere. I'm so happy for them. People report that Machine Gun Kelly were proposed to none other than his love, Megan Fox, oh. and she said oh. yes. We love this. And you know, Machine Gun Kelly came on this show and really did us a solid by saying, "Hey, I just want to come here and like." peel back the layers and keep it real. And we love him so much for it. And um, he talked about Megan and, you know, how she calms him yeah. and the beautiful way she handles him, mm -hmm. supports him, loves him. Uh, and here they are. Here it's they official. Are. It was so sweet the way he talked about her, and I love their relationship. And the fact that, you know, they put a ring on it is so sweet. They did celebrate in a very interesting way, though. Did you hear? Yeah, tell me what it said, because I read it too, but I want to know your take, Rossi. Well, all I know is that uh, it said that after the proposal that they drank each other's blood. <laughs> Which I think is, you know, uh, if I, good for you, I'm very happy. Would you have you, what do you, not for me. I'm, I'm more of like a chocolate milk kind of guy. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. You don't want Wellie's uh, blood, you'd rather have a Yoo-Hoo. <laughs> Ding dong, I'll take a Yoo-Hoo. Should have had a V8. <laughs> Could have had a V8. Yeah, totally. You know what's weird is the way I read it actually was like a joke. I took me. it as a like a cutie wink. Like, we're all giving you something to talk about. We're just messing with you. Okay. I don't know, but you never know. First up in the news, we've all been celebrating the life of the American comedy legend, Betty White. Oh. Yes. <laughs> and now the Miami Herald reports that a new campaign is spreading in her honor. It's called the Betty White Challenge. And on January 17th, which would be her 100th birthday, fans are donating $5 to an animal charity of their choice in Betty's name oh. or going and actually adopting an animal. Yeah. And Betty always said that if she wasn't in show business, she'd be a zookeeper. What if you adopt one and name it Betty? <gasps> Best idea ever. I know. There's gonna be like a million little kitties and puppies named Betty just running around, and she would love that. Next up, New Year, New You. It's the start of 2022. What new habits do you want to create in your life? Well, BuzzFeed reports that Reese Witherspoon shared her 2022 tips, and she got a great response from none other than Ina Garten. Oh. That's right. On Reese's list was a big glass of water every day. 10 minutes of daylight in the morning, an hour of reading, and an early bedtime at 10 with no late night TV. Uh. To that, Ina responded with her list, more large cosmos, more <laughs> late night streaming, <laughs> more staying in bed to play Sudoku in the morning, and finally, lots of time with the people you love. Aww. So, Aww. of course, I had to get on the phone and text Reese Witherspoon <gasps> and see if I could get a little tidbit from her, and guess what, everybody? Hot off the press? What? She responded. Oh my gosh, hi! Yeah, I love this. Just now. Okay, Reese says, Ina Garten is the queen of all things. Listen to her, not me, with a cute emoji. <laughs> I love that. First up, we love digging into the latest terms and trends in dating, and we've got a new one for you for the new year. The Independent reports dating apps say, Power PDA is officially a thing! <laughs> and it's not just for the Megan Foxes and Machine Gun Kellys of the world. 70% of daters globally say they're more open to public a smoochin. Mm-hmm. Rosti, thoughts? Uh, uh, what? Um, I, <laughs> listen, I, you know who I don't like? The people who say get a room. You know why? Because you go get a room and sit by yourself and be lonely. <laughs> I think we are, we are so lucky if you have love in your life, you know, uh, to, to, to show it. And you remember those first few months of a relationship where you just can't get enough? Like, if people are in that zone, don't rain on their parade. Don't. Let them have that. We need more love in the world.
Next up, we've got an interesting job opportunity. I love this story. I brought this to the news desk. Food and Wine reports that Peel Island, a small island off the coast of England, is looking for someone to run its pub. Oh, and double as its king. The position has been filled for over 300 years, and there are no other permanent residents on the island, so whoever applies should have a strong passion for isolation, peace, and quiet. Well, I think we've been set up for success here. Um, the inauguration involves wearing a helmet and holding a sword while buckets of beer are dumped on your head. Sounds like the Super Bowl meets Vikings. Um, and then people come and do like day trips on the island, but you run a pub, yeah, and you're the king. Roy, thoughts? <laughs> why has why got to be beer? Why can't it be whiskey? I prefer whiskey. If I'm the king, I should decide what you dump on my head. Finally, <laughs> we have a pick from Drew's little yellow book. Oh, yes, yay. that's right. It is my personal curation that I work with everyone on the show with because I think that if I was a professional curator, I would be happy. Yeah. So we refresh it every single week. We're very thoughtful about it. We do all the picks ourselves. And this week, I'm excited because I did a social post about this, and it just brings me to Nostalgia City. I'd just seen Spider-Man. And has anyone seen Spider-Man here? I hear it's so great. It is so good. And it is about the power of three, mm. and which takes me back to the best time of you know, girl could ever have, and that was being one of three with the Charlie's Angels. So Flower Beauty made this Flower Beauty X Charlie's Angels palette, which is now available exclusively with our beauty partners at CVS, and you can get it on flowerbeauty.com. And it looks like a DVD, and there's all these treats with it, and uh, the colors are like Angel's Eyes, Starfish, which is what Tom Green called me in the movie. I liked it so much I married him. Um, <laughs> speaking of, there's the Chad, Dylan, Good Morning Angels, Independent Women. Hey. Because I will never forget being in the trailer and we, we heard the demo <gasps> from Destiny's Child come in. Uh, I just heard that song the other day and I was like, Drew, that's you. You get a shout out on that song. Does that get, does Lucy that Lucy Lou with yeah. my girl Drew, Cameron D and Destiny, uh -huh. Charlie's Angels.